Kalinensee near Berlin is more than 50 meters deep and a popular destination for water sports fans. The journey our roving reporter is about to undertake is unique here in Germany. But he's not planning on taking to the water on an old windsurfing board. He's got deeper things on his mind. A submarine trip in the heart of Germany is a pretty far-fetched idea. But it is possible here at Lake Helenesee. But is there anything I can see down there apart from algae and a few fish? I'm about to find out because today it's not uh, 20,000 leagues under the sea, but 20 meters under Lake Helenesee. Thomas Breinig came up with the idea of building a small submarine to explore German waters three years ago. A thousand meters of cable were needed to ensure that the passengers get enough air. Our reporter went to meet Breinig in his boatyard, where he's busy building more mini subs. He's exported the concept as far as the Maldives. Mr. Breinig, how did the idea evolve to build a submarine for Lake Helenesee? I've been diving in the lake for over 30 years, and then I got the chance to pilot the submarine with friends inside. Everyone loved it. The Nemo is nearly four meters long and two meters wide. It's at the compact end of the market. Inside, there's just enough space for two people. The shore of Lake Helena Zee is the starting point for this unusual trip. But first of all, it's necessary to don a life jacket, just in case there's an underwater emergency. Our roving reporter is hoping it doesn't come to that. What are we going to see in the Lake Helena Zee? A few fish and plants, I hope. At this time of year, there's not much to see, but we'll see something. Okay. So let's go. It's time to close the hatches and set off. The cabin of the Nemo is a meter in diameter. You could hardly call it comfortable, but it's not quite as cramped as today's new passenger was expecting. The tanks are flooded with water, sending the craft towards the bottom of the lake. The Nemo provides a panoramic view of a quiet world. The submarine's maximum speed is four knots, that's about seven kilometers an hour. Unfortunately, the water turns out to be cloudier than usual for this time of year. The shadowy silhouette of a sunken ship appears out of the gloom. Today, we're a bit unlucky with the visibility. It's never been as bad as this. There are a lot of suspended particles. It's not great at the moment. 22 meters down, there's a bit of a surprise. A desk with a computer. Hardly ideal working conditions. Even though there's enough oxygen on board for 24 hours, the underwater excursion lasts a mere 30 minutes. It costs about 100 euros. Here, it's not the tropics. I did not see much. I, even my pilot haven't experienced such a bad visibility before, so I guess I have to come back, and I will, because floating weightlessly through the water is a great, great feeling. The view below may have been murky, but there's still time to enjoy what the lake has to offer above water, too. 